Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are talking about series 2 where we are learning a great deal on triangles. So friends, today we are going to be, this is webisode number 13 and from today for the next few webisodes we are going to focus on similarity rules or similarity theorems. So the first one is AAA or also known as angle, angle, angle similarity rule. So what do we mean by that? Friends, let's take a look. Now, before we take a look at the theorem itself, let's very briefly recall what do we mean by similar triangles. So I have here tri two triangles, right? So I have got a triangle ABC. This is my triangle ABC. And I have a triangle PQR. P QR. I have got two triangles here. Now, if it is given to me that this triangle is similar to this triangle, if somebody comes and tells you that these two triangles are similar, what do we mean by that? You know, friends, that the similar triangle, the similar symbol is like this. So, if triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, what does it mean? Well, it means few things, two things specifically. One, all corresponding angles must be equal. All corresponding angles must be equal. So that means if you take angle B, this should be equal to angle Q. If you take angle A, this should be equal to angle P and if you take angle C this angle must be equal to angle R. So in other words angle A must be equal to angle P angle B must be equal to angle Q angle C must be equal to angle R. So this is the first point. All corresponding angles must be equal. And the second point is all corresponding sides, all corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. Please note friends, they are not equal. They may be equal but they must be in the same ratio. So it means that corresponding sides, so if you look at angle A, corresponding side to angle A is, is side BC. So let's write it here. BC divided by A is equal to P, so opposite to P is QR. So BC by QR, this ratio must be equal to opposite to C is side AB, AB by opposite to C and R, they are equal, so opposite to R is PQ, so AB by PQ should be equal to, opposite to B is AC, AC by PR. So when we say that these two triangles are similar, if it is given to us, it means all of the above must be true. That is all corresponding angles must be equal and all corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. So we just wanted to have a quick refresher of what is meant by similar triangle. Now let's focus on the webisode topic at hand, which is AAA similarity rule. So what we are going to do friends here is this. We are going to prove that if in any two triangles corresponding angles are equal. So we will be given only corresponding angles are equal. Then we will prove that their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence we will say that they are similar triangles. So that is, if we, ha if we are given two triangles, 
A, B, C and B, Q are, what we will be given, we are only given these angles are equal. In these two triangles, we are given that only these angles are equal. We do not have any other information. And what we are going to prove is, just on the basis of this information, that corresponding angles are equal, we can indeed prove that their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. And so we can say these two triangles are congruent. That means we are going to first prove that AB a, B by P, Q will be equal to A, C by P, R, P, R which will be equal to B, C by Q, R and if we can prove that then we can say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle P, Q, R. So friends just wanted to make sure that we understand what is given and what is that we are trying to prove. Now let's get started. So here we have drawn two triangles ABC and PQR as shown below. It is given that these angles are equal. That is angle A equals angle P. Let's draw it. Angle A equals angle P. Angle B equals angle Q. B equals angle Q. Right? And angle C, it equals angle R. This is what is given to us. Right? Next, we need to prove that both triangles are similar. That is, we have to prove they are similar. Or, we need to prove that their corresponding sides are equal. Because if we know that their corresponding sides are equal, that is the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal, then we can say they are similar triangles. So we have to prove these ratios are equal. So first friends, what do we do? We do a simple construction. So on PQ, we try to find the point S such that the length PS this length is equal to the length AB. And similarly on PR, we try to find out the length PT such that this length is equal to the length AC. Right? And then we join S and T. Next, we take a look at triangle A, B, C and P, S, T. If you take a look at these two triangles, what do we notice? We notice angle A is equal to angle P, A, B is equal to P, S and A, C is equal to P, T by construction. So friends, what do we have? So we have then the two triangles are actually congruent. That is, this small triangle and this small triangle are congruent by, why are they congruent? They are congruent by SAS congruence rule. Remember from our last season, last class, side angle side. That is, this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side and the included angle in between the sides are equal, then two triangles are congruent. So if these two triangles are congruent, it means angle B is equal to PST, right? So we can write that as angle B equals angle PST, right? Because they are congruent triangles. But we know that angle B is equal to angle Q. So from here, because these are congruent, we know that angle B and angle S must be same. But Remember that angle B is equal to angle Q. That it was that was what was given to us. So here we have a situation where what do we have? We have angle S equals angle Q 
and so for line for lines st and qr pq is a transversal and their corresponding angles are equal so friends what does this mean you know that it means that these two lines are parallel that is this and this are parallel because the corresponding angles are equal right so these two lines are parallel now if these two lines are parallel then if you look at triangle pqr if i have triangle pqr and st is such a line segment whereby st is parallel to qr then from basic proportionality theorem we can say ps by sq equals to pt by tr right and then we can simply from here derive that ps by pq equal to pt by pr correct but if you look at this ps by pq equal to pt by pr instead of ps remember ps is equal to ab and pt is equal to ac so we can simply write this as so we have ps by pq equal to pt by pr right so instead of ps we are writing as ab and instead of pt we are substituting that by bc so friends what we have is ab by pq is equal to this should be ac this should be actually okay so here we are right so ab by pq equal to ac by pr so ac by pr right so now from so similarly we can show that ab by pq equal to bc by qr and we don't have to actually go ahead and do this proof but we can say similarly so since we have shown that two corresponding sides are in the same ratio that is here ab by pq ab by pq equal to ac by pr since we have shown two ratios to be two corresponding ratios to be similar to be equal we can say similarly we can show that the third corresponding ratio is also equal we don't actually have to show it so it means that all the corresponding sides they have the same ratio and hence we can say that these two triangles are indeed similar so remember friends we started off by taking a look at we were given only the angles were equal all corresponding angles were equal and what we have proved is that we have proved that ab by pq right ratio of corresponding sides is equal to ac this was the condition 1 by pr so we have proved that the ratio of two corresponding sides are equal so we can say we don't have to prove this we can say that similarly we can prove that this ratio will be same as bc divided by qr and hence we can say since for these two triangles these ratios are equal we can say that these two triangles are indeed similar triangles so friends this is how we prove that angle 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 similarity rule that is in two triangles if three corresponding angles are equal then those two triangles are similar triangles